In this video, we're going to learn how to activate the simultaneous interpreting function in Zoom. First off, we recommend accessing your account via the web browser. So let's go ahead and sign in. Now, let's go ahead and locate the settings button. That's usually to your left, depending on what type of computing device you're using. And we're going to scroll down. We're searching for the language interpretation function, and that's located in the in meeting advanced section. Here it is, language interpretation. Let's go ahead and make sure that's toggled to blue. That's really important. Once that's done, let's log out. Now, let's go ahead and access Zoom via our desktop icon. You're going to want to see these four buttons. Make sure when you're using the simultaneous interpreting function in Zoom to always choose the schedule button. Only when you use the schedule button will the interpreting function work in Zoom. And that's really important. Now let's scroll all the way down and, oh, here is the enable language interpretation. Let's make sure we click on that. And this is tricky. There's still more room to scroll down now. And this is where you're going to enter the email of whomever is the interpreter on the job. Let's say you're the interpreter. Go ahead and enter your email and choose your language combination. What's important is if you have someone else who you'd like to interpret for the job, you'll just go ahead and enter their email here and they'll receive an invitation to interpret for the meeting. So let's go ahead and schedule this meeting. To activate the meeting, you're going to go ahead to the right here and click start. Here's the interpretation function. Great. Let's go ahead and click on that. Now, here we are. Interpretrain has been assigned as the interpreter. If you want to go ahead and invite another interpreter, you'll do so by clicking here. Let's just verify the language combination. We can change that if we'd like. We're going to keep it the way it is. And we're going to go ahead and start this meeting. Again, this is verifying your language combination. Just go ahead and click OK. And now you're ready to begin interpreting for this job. And down here, you'll see the toggle function for English Spanish. Now, finally, when it's time to invite participants to the meeting, just go ahead and click on participants below and choose which way you'd like to contact the participant. We'll go with Gmail. And the participant will be invited and they'll have access to an interpreter. After the participant has logged in, go ahead and advise them to click on the interpretation globe and have them select the language they want. 